Uh, my name is Karim Anabosi and I started my company, Karima's Kitchen, three years ago. And the dish that we are preparing today is called Cauliflower Summer Fetish. It's a, just a beautiful vegetarian dish, um, very simple, very refreshing, light. Uh, it's all, you know, with just cauliflower that we uh, deep fry and uh, not breaded, just uh, lightly seasoned with salt and pepper. And uh, we fry it with a mixture of canola oil and olive oil uh, to give it a nice golden color. And then we let it chill a little bit. Uh, and then we just season it with all you know variety of uh, um, vegetables, just a variety of peppers, adding just the beautiful colors to it. Uh, the green pepper, the red pepper, a little bit of the hot green pepper also, with the red onion gives it a nice taste. Uh, cilantro uh, and tomato, and then uh, the main seasoning there is the cumin with a little bit of lemon juice. Delicious dish. Uh, what we did first is we fry the cauliflower and it gives you that beautiful color uh, and you let it cool off and chill and drain it you know completely so it doesn't have you know it doesn't uh, soak any oil and then the next thing you'll be doing will be chopping and it's all hand chopped to keep the vegetables uh, nice and crisp so we're chopping the cilantro here And at the same time, we have journey uh, chopping the green pepper. I love using the Italian pepper. It has a beautiful taste with vegetables. And it's also the color of it. Um, I just love Italian peppers in general. I use it with all my, um, any kind of vegetable salad that I prepare. So once we're done with the cilantro, we'll go ahead and add it to the cauliflower. Do you want to push the oil here a little bit? So you just toss the cilantro and then the next thing will be the red pepper. Where do you get the uh, Um, We usually were very big on, you know, local uh, farmers, you know, all the uh, local farms around us um, but yes I do also uh, travel to uh, Peter farm in Salem New Hampshire um, I love their vegetables very um, I mean they really have a very nice beautiful vegetables but most of our vegetables we get it here from Eastman Corner um, of course we are at um, several farmers markets so we get um, you know variety from all the vendors that we have at the farmer's market that we go through. Um, actually, this recipe, we just came up with it one day when, you know, summer started this year and we wanted to introduce something different. We do um, one of our uh, best uh, selling item, actually everybody's favorite, is the eggplant fetish, uh, which is, you know, the way we prepare it um, very similar to this one but um, I love cauliflower it's such a beautiful vegetables and uh, uh, not so many people know what they can do with cauliflower I mean you can do so much so at the beginning of the year we introduced the cauliflower tajin which we did the same thing with the cauliflower we fried it lightly and then we baked it with tahini sauce Everybody loved it and you just roasted some pine nuts on top with paprika and served it. It was a beautiful dish. Everybody fell in love with it. But as we got into summer and you see all these beautiful vegetables and the color of these vegetables, it's hard not to play with them. So we decide like, oh, we can do such a beautiful dish with cauliflower and of course, you know, um, the cumin complement the cauliflower so beautifully. It's such a beautiful seasoning for the cauliflower vegetable. So I decided to just add all these veggies to the cauliflower and season it with just a cumin and lemon juice. And turn out to be a beautiful, very tasty dish. If you also, if you have at home the yellow pepper, go ahead and add to it. Any color pepper you have, I mean, the more colors you add to this dish, 
the more tasty it's gonna you know be and uh, it'll be very presentable you know it's food it's all about you know the the, the colors of the you know how you present your dish and of course you know the taste because every single pepper you add to it i mean every type of pepper has a different taste so um the more variety you add to it the tastier the dish is gonna be so this is the red pepper and um, if you see that we try chop everything evenly and you don't want to put any of these vegetables in the food processor I know a lot of people kind of like you know say oh it just must eat easier but um, they get so mushy and they don't stay as fresh and crispy so now we're adding the red pepper and go ahead and add the green pepper also And next will be the hot pepper. Now the hot pepper, you definitely want to take the seeds and the roots, otherwise it'll be very hot. So once you take the seeds out completely, that will reduce the heat. We're going to make sure that we take all the seeds out of the hot pepper, otherwise it'll be very hot. And you don't want that not so many people can handle the heat of these peppers so these are uh, I mean it's funny how <laughs> I keep like every place I go to they have a different um, name but they're just long hot peppers they're not the jalapeno ones and I wouldn't use the jalapeno ones I thought they are the Hungarian peppers, but then I go there and I ask, you know, store like, where it's like, um, are you talking about the long hot peppers? It's like, okay, if that's what you're calling, that's fine. I'm happy with that. <laughs> but um, they're much tastier than the jalapeno, and um, the they're just, you know, how thin they are. They're not that thick, so uh, it just blends beautifully with our dish today. It is Lebanese, I mean, in general, it is Middle Eastern. So, like, there are a lot of dishes that I make that's not necessarily a traditional Lebanese dish, but it has, you know, all my recipes. It's, in general, it's all, you know, follow kind of like the Middle Eastern um, cuisine. And we focus, of course, a lot on the garlic, the cilantro, um, the lemon juice so if you notice with our um, with my dishes my recipes um, a lot of it I mean I flavor all my food with the fresh herbs so really the parsley the cilantro basil thyme these are all um, like one of our main ingredients in our food And now we're chopping the red pepper. Yeah, I mean, you don't want a big chunk of hot pepper <laughs> to get into your mouth. So you cut it really fine. It, um, you know, it gives just the right taste. You just want the right taste in your dish, but you don't want it to be very noticeable. So when people eat um, this dish, they'll like it, but toward the end, they'll notice that little kick toward the end, which they don't mind it. They actually like that taste of it. This is the red onion. Um, of course, the color, you know, it, again, I love just adding more colors to my dishes, um, but um, you know, the red onion, it's um, the taste of the red onion much smoother with all with any type of salads. So today, you know, I mean, our dish is basically considered like a cauliflower salad. 
but I also chop it very fine. If you're making uh, like a, a, a huge party serving, you know, 40 to 50 people, you'll be making, you know, a batch like that. But usually if you're making um, a dish like this at home with just like a one cauliflower that you have at home, so you really, all you need just to probably a couple tablespoons of the red onion, um, half a cup of the red pepper, half a cup of the green pepper, um, the cilantro probably a one tablespoon of chopped cilantro will do um, but this batch is you know uh, it's actually yes we are preparing you know for the market so this is actually a dish a new dish that we are uh, i can't wait for you know our fan to try this a new dish and actually we have introduced it a couple times to the market uh, people just loved it and as I said you know if you love cauliflower even for people who don't care much about the cauliflower when they taste it just like the eggplant fetish um, I've had people who actually hate eggplant you know and, um, and don't really care much for also cauliflower when you um, eat it this way they fall in love with it because you're not tasting just the eggplant or just the cauliflower you're tasting a beautiful fresh um, you know taste in your mouth full of uh, flavors um, just a variety and you know, lots of flavors in your mouth that you just want to have more of it and especially in the summertime when you're out you know on a hot day and and you just want something refreshing you're not in the mood to eat something heavy or this would be the dish to just to have so now we added the onion um, the hot pepper cilantro the red pepper tomato it's a beautiful tomato that we get from here from Eatsman corner taste to all our dishes also the tomato we dice them small just like how we cut the peppers and the onion and everything else want the juice to stay in because that's what's going to give it such a beautiful you know nice taste to our uh, to our dish so you want the juice that's nice to have there. <laughs> oh yeah it makes my life much easier trust me And you want to be generous with the fresh garlic because it gives it such a nice taste. So like for a big bowl like that, I put, I want to say around like 8 to 10 cloves of garlic. And I love doing it the old fashioned way. <laughs> uh, in Arabic. We call it in that tune. <laughs> I just to grow up, I know that my favorite thing to do in the kitchen was like once my mom's like, is it ready? Are we ready to do the garlic? Because that was my favorite thing to do. So I grow up and I make all my dishes with garlic just so I'll do this. <laughs> so we add the garlic now. When you when when you want to uh, do the salt, the garlic, add salt to it, uh, just to give you know it. It just makes it easier to break. <laughs> 
into it, you know, so you'll be able to uh, get it as moist as you like it to be. And now we're adding the cumin. And next would be the lemon juice. So we're putting like about half a cup of the lemon juice. A little bit more than half a cup. And then we're gonna add the salt. You don't want too much salt because you wanna taste the flavor of all the other herbs and the lemon juice and the garlic it doesn't need to be salty so you want to be careful with the salt the less salt you put the better and then mix it all together and toss it lightly And you have a beautiful delicious dish and the best way to serve this dish so this this is just one of the many ways that you can but this is just a very simple light fast way to just eat this and enjoy and one of those pita wraps you wrap it up cut it in half to share it with someone you love and have a beautiful veggie wrap.